Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review. And right here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, Gung Ho. Um, so this way looks like from the front. Here's one of the side arts. This is the seventh figure in the collection. Here's the back art. We've seen it before many times. Here's the other side art with Kung gung ho there sorry i'm trying to figure out how to say it uh here's the top and then here's the bottom with the dcbi um but besides that let's crack this guy open all right and here's gung ho out of the packaging so let's go over his accessories here so this i believe is his like little assault rifle uh it's pretty much just a great uh gray gun here uh you get a little bit of marbling going on but it's not that bad um, like I said in the other videos too, I wish they could add just a little bit more paint detail for these weapons, but, oh well, but really cool looking. Um, then here's this pump shotgun, same deal with the whole paint detail. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the thing with all the figures, weapons for these guys. Hopefully they could fix it along the road, but yeah you get a little bit of marbling going on there um and then here's his like little grenade launcher same color as the other ones a little bit of gray tint and there's like a little bit of the sand tint uh like a little bit of brown i guess in there and then he comes with this uh little backpack with these slots here so you would just slide these guys in just like that someone like that I believe. Uh, let's see. I know you're supposed to slide them in somehow. Or click them in, maybe. Yeah, just like that, maybe. If it stays in there. Uh, hang on, it's taking me a bit to figure out here. There we go. Got that one hooked in there. Uh, and then we'll go over the shotgun, I think, is supposed to be next. Yeah, there we go. That one just goes right in. And then same, I don't know about the bottom part here. I think the bottom, I'm not sure what the bottom part's supposed to be really for. But I'm holding it and then this just plugs into this back here. Just like that. And then one other accessories, which it popped out when I popped, I got him out of the packaging. He has this hat. Not really any details going on, but besides like the little wrinkles, but that's really it. A little bit of a uh, camouflage paint to it. But besides that, that's really it for accessories. So let's go over Gung Ho here. So here he is, here's his face without the hat on. Hat on. So there's his like little bit of hair there. And he has that mustache going, he looks pretty pissed. Looks pretty cool. And then this vest is a separate piece, so if you want, you can take it off if you want. Um, he has this blue little, I guess, I think that might be a walkie-talkie. He has these grenades there. Nice detail going on throughout the vest. He has this padding. Kind of looks like it's supposed to be carbon fiber, I'm guessing. And yeah, you have these, like, little fanny packs right there. Yeah, these pouches. He has this little gauntlet here, which I believe, yeah, it is a separate piece, so you could pop that off if you want to. And that looks pretty cool. Nice silver paint. They did a good job on the paint they dealt there. Um, and he has this tattoo of an eagle there on his chest. Um, and then through the back, he has not much going on there. He has this elbow pad here which is a separate piece too so if you want you could pop that off too he has brown gloves not really much going on there you get a little you can see a little bit of knuckle protectors going on there 
I wish they could paint those black or something. He has this black low bracelet there, but that's not a separate piece. That's actually a sculpt on his arm. He has this belt here, gray silver buckle. He has his camouflage pants. You get these little pockets there throughout the pants right here. He has this little holster for his, I guess, stun grenades. I wish they could paint those to say, pop, make those pop out a little bit, make it blue or something. Um, then he has these shin guards. They're both the same. It's a nice silver paint, metallic. Then he has these little straps sculpted in there. Um, then here's the back for you. You can see the shin guards actually go around. The, the back of his legs or calves there. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let's go over his articulation here. So his head can move down that well. Actually, yes, I totally forgot about that. So only his head can move up that far and then down that far with that ball neck joint there at the bottom of the neck. You can get him to look down even further. You can get him to look up a little bit further. Um, head pivoting on the, just the top there. You can look at, make him look left and right. And then with the neck ball joint, you can get him to pivot a little bit more to that side. Same deal on the other. His shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees. Uh, he has a tiny butterfly joint, so you get, don't get much motion there. Um, you have a 360 rotation on the shoulder. He has a three, uh, 360 rotation on the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, he has 360 around, uh, rotation around the wrists. They can hinge down that far, up that far. Uh, he has an ab crunch, obviously, so you can get him to go forward that much, which is a lot. And that backwards some, because of this, you, it's blocking it. If you want to, you can take it off. And you also have this ball joint at the bottom here, so you can go even farther down. Uh, and then same deal going on with the vest thing. Uh, he has drop down the hips. It doesn't go down that much, but you get him to kick out a lot, like almost 90 degrees. I totally forgot. Waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Or it's not waist swivel, it's the ball joint. And speaking of that, you can get him to go to the side a little bit there too. So that's cool. You get him to kick out that far. Eh, it's not quite as much as like snake eyes, but it's not that bad. Uh, you get him to kick out, kick backwards some. He has an upper thigh cut there. He has double jointed knees. There we go. Uh, yeah, you can't get him to go farther than that. He has a shin cut there. His ankles can hinge up that far, but shin guards can't block it down that far pretty good he has a nice ankle pivot so this guy's a really cool figure um the only problems that i have with it is probably the paint for the weapons but i see that being a constant like a little thing to have with the gi joe figures each of them besides the um roadblock one where that massive one is i think that the reason why they painted that one is mainly because it's a uh, like a huge part of that figure. So I guess that's the only one that really we're focused on the paint apps for, for the weapon there. But I wish they could add in some more paint apps through the other weapons on the other figures. And then some just on the satchels and holsters and stuff like that. But besides that, articulation is really good for this guy because he's bigger. You won't be having as much articulation as uh, Snake Eyes, but like still really good figure. The figure is good overall. It's just like the uh, paint apps to the same deal. Um, but besides that, that's really it. Really good figure. Uh, but besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have car pages. Christian's car page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's car page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting 
get me being able to do that and I also get more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.